Whether you're Donald Trump or just a kid with a lemonade stand, this next clip is for you because it's all about how to use quadratic functions to maximize profit. Let's see if we can help a skateboard manufacturing company maximize their profit. Here's our problem. A skateboard manufacturer lists their revenue and cost functions as r of x equals negative x squared plus 24x and their cost function is c of x equals 12x plus 28. And part A asks, determine the profit function for the company. And then in part B, find the value of X that maximizes profit. All right, well, let's tackle part A. We're going to find the profit function for the company. Profit, for no matter what kind of business you have in this world, is always equal to the revenue, or the amount of sales or money you bring in. Subtract your costs from that, and that'll give you your profit. So in other words, to convert this English into math, we can say our profit function, or P of X, is going to be equal to the revenue function, which is R of X, subtract the costs function, which is given as C of X. And now we just fill in these values. So the revenue function is listed as negative X squared plus 24X, and we're going to subtract these two variables, minus 12x minus 28. Don't forget to change the sign of this last number. And to find the profit function, we just need to collect like terms. We have 24x and minus 12x. So when we write it all out, our profit function will look just like this, plus 12x minus 28 bringing these two terms together to make 12x. And this is our final answer for part A. We've built a profit function that if you look carefully, you'll notice it's a quadratic function. And we can now use that for part B. Completing the square. Well, we need to do that because we've been given a quadratic in standard form in part A, but we're talking about maximizing. And we need to convert that into a form that will more readily let us look at the maximum value. So let's start completing the square on that quadratic and see what we get. Now, if you're not sure how I'm completing the square here, please check out some earlier clips on completing the square, and they'll help you out. First thing I'm going to do is common factor out this negative 1, which is in front of the first term. And I'll be left with these two terms inside of a bracket. Now, remember, you only common factor from the first two terms, meaning this negative 28 will stay just as it is. Next, I'm going to take half of this negative 12 and then square that. So half of negative 12 is negative 6. And negative 6 squared is negative 6 times negative 6, which makes plus 36. And I have to remember to create a 0 inside my bracket by having a negative 36. The reason I can do that is that plus 36 and negative 36 doesn't really change the equation at all because, like I said, it's just a strange looking zero, and we can always add zeros to equations, as long as they're being added or subtracted. Next, I'll bring the negative 36 outside of the bracket. But before I can do that, I have to multiply it but by whatever is in front of that bracket. So what's in front of the bracket? There is a negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 36 makes it positive, plus 36, and I keep the minus 28. And finally, I need to simplify the quadratic by taking the square root of this term and this term. The square root of x squared is x. I take the symbol of the middle term, which is a negative. Square root of 36, well, that's 6. And then I add a squared exponent right there to simplify that. And 36 and negative 28 together makes positive 8. And there I've finished my completing the square. Now, how do I use this equation once it's been converted? Well, B asks us to find the value of x that maximizes profit. The value of x that will maximize profit is whatever would make a 0 inside this bracket. Well, if x was 6, I'd have 6 minus 6, and that would make 0. So it turns out the value of x that we need is 6. So remember, you're always looking for the value of x that would make a 0 inside the bracket. So let's sum that up by saying 
profit is at a max when x is 6. And that's my final answer. So if you're ever asked to find the profit function for a company, it's just the revenue equation minus the cost equation. Then we need to convert the standard form equation into this form so we can see where x would be maximizing profit. And it's whatever makes a zero inside the bracket. All right, let's see if you can make a company a lot of money. Try the same steps I showed you on the left with this problem. A laptop manufacturer lists their revenue and cost functions as r of x is equal to negative 2x squared plus 32x, and the cost function is c of x is equal to 16x plus 45. And in A, determine the profit function for the company, and then in B, find the value of x that maximizes their profit. Okay, try that one now. Well, this laptop manufacturer makes a profit, uh, a maximum profit, when x is 4. And we found that by first in A, finding the profit function to be negative 2x squared plus 16x minus 45. And then in B, really what we're doing is taking this and completing the square on it to arrive at this equation. And we just found that x should be 4 to make profit maximized. 